Good evening and welcome back to Hay Fever Central. Oh, sorry, all hail with ale. Um, yeah, Hay Fever Central is very much present and uh, having its wicked way with my nose and my throat and my eyes. Uh, but we are here for a video about beer that will uh, hopefully kind of... I'll enjoy it, you know, because um, I've not been enjoying Hay Fever today. It's been a pretty horrendous thing to deal with anyway. The beer in question is from Bath Ales, and it is this one, it is Gem Amber Ale. And it says, Gem Amber Ale is a bittersweet and well-balanced ale that sees the malty character from the Maris Otter Barley really shine through. So I'm expecting a malty, sweet, warming autumnal beer, I guess. Um, what does it tell me other than that? It contains barley and wheat, um, yeah. It's got a BBE of uh, January 2020, and that is pretty much it, other than that it is 4.8% and the brewery was founded in 1995. So, reasonably young brewery. Never had anything from Bath Ales before, so this is a first for me. Uh, so yeah, Gem Amber Ale, let's crack her open and see what we get. So we have a nice bit of smoke off the top just to uh, start it off and we have a filthy dirty glass, excuse me, that lovely bit where it's been washed and you get the, the suds on the top, yeah let's, uh, let's go, there we go it's amber, that's what I expect. everything I expect looks wise from an amber ale so it is amber verging on mahogany we've got a finger or so of off-white almost ivory colored head it is not very tight and compact it's a good looking pint of beer Let's see what it smells like malty very malty a rich sweet malt uh, that head is dissipating quite quickly We're down to about half a finger but yeah, it smells malty, it promises malt and Maris Otter at that. Let's see if it tastes it. That beer is all about the malt. It's yeah, it's if you are a malt beer lover, this will be right up your alley. There's no bitterness to speak of just a real sweet malt character no real hot profile to speak of either I mean they're there but then they're, they're indistinct they are very very much play a second fiddle to the malt in this beer it's the kind of beer I think my old man would have loved um, yeah he would have loved this I said autumnal, I mean it's quite refreshing, I mean it's a, it's a hot Easter Sunday and I've not long since got back from taking the dog for a walk and waxing the car, it's going down well. Very well, mm. that sweet mould is like pudding, it's like a sweet pudding. think of a malt loaf and that kind of rich I mean it's not got a lot of the dark fruit character but that rich sweet malty goodness that just just almost you want to chew this beer like you would a saurine uh, coated in lashings of butter mm, delicious anyway the beer you see it's going down quite well I like it let's uh, let's pause from drinking and give it an initial score. So, Bath Ale's Gemma Amber Ale. Do I like it? Yeah, I do. Do I like it enough to go and buy it again? Yeah, I think I do, actually. I mean, given that I love hops in beer, occasionally I like a malty one. And this one would fit that bill nicely. Would I rush out and buy it again? It's not often I'm in that malty mood, so 
I'm going to say no, I wouldn't rush out and buy it again for a regular drink. But when I want a malty beer, this will be one that I will go for. Because it's it's not often I find the malty characters that I like in a beer that is lower than, say, 7%. Um, something like McEwen's Champion, you know, um, it's around about that figure. That's got that kind of malty profile that I enjoy. Um, is it all peculiar? King Goblin, they're all hovering around the six and a half to seven percent mark. They've all got that particular malt profile that I enjoy. But this is infinitely more sessionable, only 4.8%. So, and it, it's, it's perhaps more, it's gonna please more people than something like King Goblin, which is really rich and dark. This is much more mellow and sweet and will appeal to more people on that basis, I think. So there we are. So I would say, Four out of five for Barthel's gem. He's a little gem, really, isn't it? So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, this has been Barthel's gem amber ale. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.